hello guys in my last video I had shown you how to make a frame and insert your data into your MySQL using Java and NetBeans in this video I will show you how to make a login frame using Java and NetBeans for that open your NetBeans go to your project folder and make a new JFrame I am giving name it as login click finish see our new JFrame has been created now click on the right click on the JFrame select absolute layout now we have to design our JFrame so for that I need two J labels one text field one password field and two buttons now I am going to rename them as per our requirement and drag it rename it blank also I am increasing the size of this password field and leaving it blank and now I am giving name it as login and this button as reset why I am making a reset button I will show you later now we have to resize our JFrame just make it like this and right click on it and click properties drop it down and you will find an option minimum size click on it and you have to type the size of your JFrame that you record that is 300 cross 150 click close now we have to change the variable names as I am giving the name of the username text filler txt username and this one as txt password this one as btn login and this one as btn reset so now we have to make action performed on login button so right click on it events action and action performed here you have to write the whole code of login action so firstly I will fetch the data written in these two fields in my source code for that I am making two variable first one un and I am getting the data of username text field by method name get text and now for password I will make use a method that is get password and see it is showing some error that is incompatible types so I am using one more method that is string dot value of this method converts the password into string value see error had gone now I will make a connection with your database for that I need some classes that is connection then prepare statement and I am giving the variable name as pstmt and one more class that is result set rs equal to null and to remove these errors right click click fix imports and click ok see error had gone because these classes has been imported into our code now type the code as I am typing here first we will define our class here type 
mysql.mysql.jdbc.driver and in the next line you have to type con equal to driver manager dot get connection we are using get connection method to connect to our database and here you will type mysql col sorry jdbc colon mysql colon slash and here you will type the name of your database after that you will have to type the name uh, username of your database that is by default root and then the password of your mysql database after that you have to type pschmt equal to con dot prepare statement and here you will write your sql query that is select sar from user detail user detail is our database table name from where you will want to fetch the data and here i will write the condition that is username equal to question mark that means i am fetching the data on the behalf of username the user had entered in the text field and now i will set the username value that is un after that i will execute this query by exit query method now we will have to verify whether our query has been executed or not for that purpose i am making a while loop with rs.next method and here i am giving a condition if password dot equals rs dot get string and here the column name of password field in our database that is this password and after that if our condition true then it will show a pop up message that by using j option pin dot show message dialog and inside it we will write login successful and if it is not so then we will write show a pop up message inside it we will write login not successful and if there is any exception arise for that we will pop up a message with the exception and now our code has been completed now we will test it right click on it and click run file see now type the username and password that i had already stored in the database which i shown you in the previous video as username as sahil underscore garg and password as sahil click login button and it will show a message login successful that means our database has been connected successfully and we log in into our database click ok and if i put wrong username and click login uh, it is not working ok so close it and run it again and type the wrong username and type the correct password and click login so now we have to make the coding of the reset button and for that purpose right click on reset events action action performed so here we will type txt username dot set text null and then txt password dot set text blank these two lines will clear these two text fields 
and now we will run our code and test whether it is running or not type username as something and password as something and click reset see both the text field clears and now type the username and type wrong password and click login see it will pop up and say login not successful that means our code is working properly and this is our code for the login frame thanks for watching have a nice day